So we do have continuing coverage. Keep in mind that Dixon Unified School District says a student posted a racist message about black people on Instagram just this week. And here's the thing, it happened on Wednesday, the first day of Black History Month. ABC 10's racing culture reporter Candace Red is live tonight in Candace. School leaders held a news conference today. Chris, good evening to you. Yes, that's absolutely right. The Dixon Unified School District is focused on safety. This after school officials say a parent reported a racist Instagram post to staff members at John Knight Middle School. Right now, you're looking at video of the campus where well, the school district launched an immediate investigation. They learned a seventh grader at John Knight put the racist post on their personal Instagram page on Wednesday during lunch. It included individual and group photos of about 20 black and mixed race students along with a picture of the school's first black principal, Camila O'Connor. The post also included a banner reading Happy Black History Month, followed by a derogatory word. Well, here's Brian Dolan, again, the superintendent of schools with the district. No students uh, have received the full range of discipline yet, which uh, can include up to expulsion. That's a process that takes a number of weeks. Uh, is expulsion being considered in this situation? Yes, absolutely it is. Well, during today's press conference, the district addressed parents' concerns. We also learned that the student who posted the photos and hateful message is no longer welcomed on campus, at least at this time. The district says other students also played a role, like taking the photos and planning the hateful act. Well, school officials are still working on identifying everyone involved to take the appropriate disciplinary action. Coming back out live to you here in front of the district office again at ABC 10. We stand for you. That means being transparent in our storytelling. Our race and culture team along with news management and staff. We held a meeting today to figure out whether or not we should read the racist Instagram post on air word for word. We decided not to because we do not ever want to unintentionally harm our communities. Chris. And Candace, we understand the school district says they are providing support to students and families impacted by that racist post. Coming up tonight on the news at six, we're talking to concerned parents. We thank you for that live report.